that was fast and furious. That was a lot of information in a short period of time, but we're going to slow things down and do a review on the Napoleon Prestige 665. First of all, thanks for stopping by Smoking Steve's. We're normally smoking up something, grilling something around here and putting out videos on how to and uh, recipes. But today we're doing a review on the Napoleon. Uh, I've ran the whole gamut. I've had uh, uh, electric grills, charcoal grills, pellet grills. Uh, uh, now we're back to the gas grill. So I've ran full circle. Still have the Rectech Bull and the Rectech Bullseye pellet grills. We're going to have a lot of fun. A lot of videos coming your way. But first, let's go out and take a look at the Napoleon 665. Okay, here it is, guys. It's really looking good. As you can see, it's uh, there's a lot of stainless steel on it. Uh, the lid, the whole cabinet, both sides. It's really looking good. And uh, here we have our control knobs. Uh, let's go ahead and open the lid here. And before we do that, uh, we have a nice temperature gauge up here. It goes from... Uh, of course, from zero to uh, looks like 700 degrees, or maybe uh, 800. I don't know how hot it'll get. I did uh, um, have a little burn in, and it took about uh, 10 minutes to get up to 500 degrees. And uh, you know, I shut it down then. I didn't really want to run it over 500 degrees, so uh, I don't know how hot it'll get. But it'll get hot. I know that. And we open it up here. Uh, Right off the bat, you notice this wavy uh, grate. Nice heavy-duty stainless steel. You can see how thick that is. Pretty substantial. And up here we have a warming rack. Uh, that's a little more lightweight. And uh, there is a rotisserie that comes with this and I'll show you that a little bit later but when you have that rotisserie on and running that you want to make sure that you remove this rack and underneath here you have an infrared burner and uh, you use that for the uh, rotisserie uh, if you want to like you're doing a chicken or something like that you want to have that infrared uh, burner on uh, to brown that chicken and get that skin nice and crispy and uh, just finish her off cooking that. So let's go ahead and remove one of these grates. Okay, it's kind of awkward and heavy, so I needed two hands to uh, get that grate out of there. But underneath that grate, you see these bars, and uh, uh, I like to call them flavor bars. Uh, as you cook, uh, all those drippings and stuff get down on these flavor bars, and uh, you know, it tends to flavor your food. Down here, underneath this one, uh, you'll see one of the burners. Okay. And uh, I'll just go ahead and light that burner right now. Uh, before I do that, let's turn these lights on. As you can see, they all light up blue. Now if you turn one on, It'll go red. And as you can see, that fired up. And it's red now. So uh, that's a safety feature. Uh, that way, if you're done cooking or something, and you notice any of these knobs being red, just light that one. red so you know if it's red you got the gas on you need to shut it off and even with the lights off okay the lights are off ignite that burner and it still turns red indicating that the burner is on it's a good feature guys So I'll go ahead and put this flavor bar back. I 
I'll go ahead and set that grate back in. Okay, I got that grate back in. Let's go ahead and remove this upper grate. It's a lot lighter in weight and a lot easier to handle. So I'm just going to set this down. And it's a good look at the infrared burner in the back. We're going to go ahead and light that guy and show you how to do that. And that would be uh, this little knob right here. So just turn that. Okay. I don't know whether you can see it or not, but it did fire up. See a little bit of flame in there flickering. That really gets hot. So we're going to go ahead and shut that down. Let's go ahead and turn these uh, lights on these knobs. As you can see, they all turn blue. Let's go over here to the sizzle zone, which is right here. You can use this for searing your steaks, hamburgers, or whatever you want to sear. This uh, infrared burner really gets hot. So turn that guy on. Put this over here on high. Turns red. And hit this button right here for the sizzle zone. And it just fired up. Should be turning red here momentarily. Yeah, it's starting to turn. So that there's going to be good for get our uh, sear on our steaks and burgers and uh, whatever else we may want to sear. So I'm going to go ahead and shut that guy down. Knob turned blue. That shut off. And I'm going to let that cool down. I mean, it's already hot before I uh, close that lid. Okay, well, I got that top shelf out, that warming shelf. I did put the uh, rotisserie in here. And down here you have your uh, rotisserie motor. And to turn that on, just a little fl flick of the switch. And she's rotating. Put your chicken or whatever you're cooking in here. And you'd have your uh, back infrared burner on to get that char on that uh, chicken or whatever you're cooking. And get that all brown and nice and crispy. And uh, this guy over here, a little weird looking. And I just put it on there. Uh, that's for uh, to uh, a counterbalance. Like if your weed meat on here is uh, heavy on one side, you would put this on the light side of the meat to kind of help balance that meat out so it spins properly. I'm really looking forward to using this rotisserie. So we'll go ahead and shut him off. We'll go ahead and shut these lights off. Down here at the end, you got uh, a hook right here, and one at the other end, right here. So you can hang uh, utensils on that. And let's go down here at the other end. You have a couple down here at this end as well, one on each end. Let's go ahead and take a look underneath here, get these doors opened up. I'll show you the storage under here that you have. Now I might point out that uh, this is natural gas in this model uh, that I bought. Uh, I got a natural gas uh, rough in over here. And I do have that hooked up to the natural gas there. So uh, we don't have the uh, propane tank underneath.
a lot of storage. Now, if you did have the propane, you'd have the propane tank right sitting right here, which would take up uh, some of your storage. And uh, I do have a little bit uh, thrown in there now, but there's going to be a lot more going in. Uh, these are Bear Mountain pellets, and uh, I'm going to be using that to uh, uh, when I'm smoking. I'm going to be using the Bear Mountain pellets. Uh, I love Bear Mountain pellets. I had uh, pellet smokers, and uh, I just love the way uh, Bear Mountain flavors the food, burns hot, very little ash, and it doesn't stink. So I love Bear Mountain. And over here, you can see there's a, you can hang three different items here. And uh, I got my smoke tubes right there, along with the uh, brush and stuff to clean the smoke tubes out. And over here on this other door, You have the same thing. Three hooks over here that you can hang things from. So uh, a lot of storage under here. Uh, I do have some ideas uh, for under here. I'm going to uh, try to do a, a mod on this uh, grill. And I'll do a video on that to show you what I've done. I think you'll really like it. Now on this rotisserie, uh, there is a little keeper down here. You put that down here and tighten that up. That'll keep that uh, spits from uh, coming out of the motor. And I will tell you, this is a, a Napoleon Prestige 665. And they do make a 665 Pro. Okay, and the only difference between the Pro and this one is... Uh, on the Pro, there's a, a light inside here, okay, and uh, there's a, an extra knob in here, it's over here on this side, that uh, you can put your wood chips into. So you just undo that, pull, pull it out, put your chips in, put it in, if you need to refill, do the same thing. But uh, I can do that with the smoke tubes. And on the Pro, over here on this side, you would have a, a cutting tray, a cutting board. And the cutting board's removable. You could put ice in there and keep your drinks in there or whatever. But uh, this one doesn't have that. Then the Pro has a, uh, some kind of light underneath here that shines Napoleon down here on the floor. Okay, this unit doesn't have that. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, I think maybe the uh, grill grates are a little bit heavier on the Pro. But these right here, these are pretty substantial, as is. Look at that. And the uh, Napoleon 665 Pro is uh, 1500 more dollars than this one. So... Uh, I had a hard time just to find the uh, extra $1,500, so uh, I just went with this one. Overall, I think this is going to be a win-win. I'll be able to grill, I'll be able to smoke, I'll have a rotisserie. I got a sizzle zone over here for searing. I got plenty of storage down here. Some knobs light up, blue or red. Guys, I'm going to be doing a lot of cooks on this baby. A lot of grilling, a lot of smoking, using that rotisserie. Got a griddle on order. We're going to have some fun with this. So stay tuned. We're going to be putting some videos out on how to and some recipes. It's going to be a good time. So guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to give me a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you on the next one.